yang berbahagia Engineer Professor Academician Dr. Dr. Chua Hien Teh, Presiden University Chukwu Abdul Rahman Dima. A very good morning to your berbahagia Engineer Professor Academician Dato Dr. Chua Hien Teh, Presiden University Chukwu Abdul Rahman Dima. Mr. Yu Fan Ye, Youth Council Member, Ms. Lim Wai Yan, Director, Center for Extension Education, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. On behalf of University of Abdul Rahman, we would like to extend a warm welcome to you to the inaugural Lifelong Learning Festival. Ladies and Gentlemen, Lifelong Learning Festival is a festival that encourages lifelong learning culture among the public. The Chinese saying, Huo Ta Lao, Shui Ta Lao, tells us that learning is a lifelong process and this should be our motto in today's ever changing society. This three day festival of talks, workshops, performances, demonstrations, and exhibitions is aimed to inform the public that education is continuous and that learning can be fun and rewarding. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite Yang Berbahagia Engineer Professor Academician Dr. Dr. Chua Hentik to give his welcome speech. Data are always available, and when you organize them carefully, put them in the book, then it becomes some information, which is just in the library or the internet. Until and unless you download the thing, you read it carefully, you digest it, you understand it, then only it becomes a knowledge. Otherwise, the data and the information, quite honestly, they are all useless if they do not become your own knowledge. For them to become your own knowledge, you really have to understand them, you have to uh, digest, as I say, and then know how to apply them. Then only you become part of your knowledge. And that is not good enough, because with that knowledge, you must be able to use it for good purposes, Use it to make decision. Use it to make judgment, which are useful. Then only slowly you become wiser and wiser. So for any one of us who stop learning, not only uh, our brain cells will die off much more faster, easier. Uh, we will not be able to continue uh, to live a meaningful um, life. Because it is very important for us to continue 
to use the knowledge that we have and to apply it to solve problems, not to create problems, but I see some students, right? Um, we are here to solve problems based on uh, the knowledge that we have. This is particularly important in this uh, era of globalized uh, world. We are talking about no longer information age. As I say, information age is just to give you info. We are talking about knowledge age. We are talking about knowledge economy. We are talking about how to use knowledge to come up with things that are innovative, uh, that can help you to solve the problems today. So, please remember to continue learning. Please continue to exercise your brain because if you don't exercise it, um, I remember there was one industrialist uh, Henry Ford one day. If someone, uh, if anyone stops learning, then he actually, um, whether at the age of twenty or the age of eighty or what, is useless. But if you stop learning. So it is important for us to continue to learn. Now I must connect this uh, effort by Center for uh, Extension Education or CEE. Now since the inception in 2003, they have uh, organized more than, I hope by now more than 2,000. Of course the, the report I have uh, two weeks ago is 1,990 over. I'm sure within two weeks they will have more activities. So, uh, by now they have uh, conducted more than 2,000 talks, uh, workshops, training, modules, seminars, etc. And they have trained more than 107,000 people. And that is very impressive because it is important, as I said, this university, I always say this university is a university that is created by the people. Not only because we get the contributions from the people to build the university, but also a lot of people put in their heart and their soul for the university in giving us advice, in telling us what is the new technology that is coming so that we can prepare our students well, our graduates well. We can even uh, organize short courses, continual development courses for the general public, for our alumni, for the people of Malaysia. So I always say that we are created by the people, for the people. And one of the important functions of this university is for public good. For public good means what? Not only we want to train good uh, graduates, but also we want to continue contributing whatever we could to help the industry, to help the people so that they can uh, continue learning and then they can contribute towards the nation. No, of course, very limited view is contribute towards Malaysia, but we must also have this idea of contributing to the ASEAN region, to the Asia Pacific region to the world as a whole. Since there are some uh, young students and young staff here, let me tell you that we human civilization is at a very important crossroad now. We don't have much time left. According to a survey from the pre-industrial age that kind of environment temperature, we can only allow two degree extra if we want to have a reasonable earth environment to continue our human civilization. But now, industrialization is not long ago, not, not that it is a few thousand years ago. 
it's only about 100 to 100 years ago. Now, our temperature left with only another 1.2 degree increase. And the rate of this global warming and so on is very, very fast. So if we are not doing things that are right um, through continual education, because a lot of the students, a lot of the graduates, at least for me when I was in the university, I don't learn a lot of new techno technologies, how to save the world, what are the new technology, come up with the new material. But if we have this lifelong learning, then we will learn and we will practice it. That's why I say we are really at the crossroad. And the, more, the earlier all of us realize it through continuing uh, education, then the better it will be. The better is the chance for us to really save this world. I give you another example of how important it is that we must quickly wake up through continual education and do whatever we can to save the world. Now there is another report saying that if every one in this um, world, the world now you know how many population of the population have crossed the seven billion mark, right? So if everyone on average spend the way an average American is spending, we will require 5.4 Earth resources per year to have this kind of lifestyle. If everyone spend like an average British is spending, we require 3.1 Earth resources. So in a way, we are using future resources to sustain our activity. And therefore, what should we do? I have no solution to it. Otherwise, I will be a superman, you know? uh, superhuman being. I have no solution to it. It is through lifelong learning that we learn new technology so that we cycle, we use, right? And refuse. Refuse the old technology and use the new technology. So let us have this in mind that it is important for us to continuously learning new things, right? After you graduate from the university, that does not mean you stop learning. Graduating from the university, at best I say, is to get you have a passport to tell people that now I can work. Whether you are successful or not, it depends on yourself. Especially now in the new IT era, the uh, lifespan of your knowledge that you learn is shorter and shorter and shorter. Right? Every six months things change and you have to continue to study. So make sure that uh, you continue to study even after you graduate. You continue to do your master, read, uh, study master courses, part time, full time, it doesn't matter. Continue to uh, even take professional courses. Uh, for example, in some professional bodies, they insist their professional must have a certain number of credit hours of continual professional development. Accountancy, engineering, medicine, all that, what have you, know? So you, you have to continuously um, learn. And of course, for those of you who do not want to learn technical things, but you can still learn other things. Because in life, engineers doesn't mean that he, he only can learn engineering, you know? You can still learn painting, you learn uh, foreign languages, you learn Sudoku so that this one don't stop thinking, you know. Uh, there are many really things that you learn. I tell you a secret, I'm learning how to cook. Because recently, when I went back to Penang, my sister bought a 5,000 kind of cooker, I don't know what kind of cooker, and she said can do everything, you know, including baking cake, including I don't know what she was telling me some buns. And after looking at what she does, she said, you must go and think of a dish and you cook the next time I go back to Penang you know, for them. So I promise them, I never use the word promise, tell them. So once I say I promise, so now I'm cracking my head what to cook for them when I go back on my visa day. You know? 
So you continue learning, right? Not necessary technical things. You can learn languages, you can learn how to deal with people, you can learn even about insurance, why insurance is important. Or not important, I don't know, alright? Um, you can learn about Chinese painting, alright? You can learn about uh, Korean culture. I'm sure a lot of you ask, uh, I don't know whether, how much time you spend on the Korean drama. Also, you can uh, learn Korean culture. You can learn Chinese medicine so that you can take good care of yourself. So please continue learning. Alright? So with this, thank you so much. Thank you, Prof. Dato, for your inspiring speech. Now, we are pleased to invite Mr. Sam Kwai Fong, a well-known local Chinese brush painter and president of One Malaysia Artist Association, to demonstrate the art of Chinese brush painting.
要去要去找那个找那个之前的人。来，我来给你说个。
啊，几幅画是值得看的，比如说是这个钟镇山先生画给我们的牛啊、土啊，还有我们高教部副部长写的一幅字《心境》，呃，这个也将会成为我们的正正文。好、哦，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢。Oh, maybe for the information of those who do not uh, know Nanjing, right? This, this painting is a Chinese painting, and uh, it's written about in conjunction with the 10th anniversary of the university, right? So we can say that within 10 years, the university has turned an ass mining land into uh, the land for the mine rather than the mining land, right? And uh, it is full of greeneries. So I was just saying that we'll put this as an important exhibit in our library. Uh, thank you so much. We would like to invite Professor Dr. Dr. Chua, accompanied by Ms. Lin Guan Yan for the opening ceremony of the Lifelong Learning Festival, followed by the Chua Chuber.